Kmart shoppers. Problem, Cody? Oh, yeah. I just had this really weird dream about Al. It was like a warning, a premonition, a fax from the cosmos. <laughs> Check it out. Al is going to jail. Cody, relax. Just because you dreamt it doesn't mean it's going to happen. Karen's right. There's absolutely no scientific basis for believing in premonitions. <laughs> Scoff if you will, oh poo-pooers of the paranormal. <laughs> but I know what I saw. It was Al. Dude, she was wearing a striped shirt with numbers on it, and she was standing behind bars. <laughs> Check it out. She is going to jail. Hey, guys, check out my new hamster. See him? <laughs> wow. It's just like my premonition. Striped shirt, numbers on it, behind bars. <laughs> Oh, and dude, this explains that big wheel in her cell. <laughs>
Cody, would you like to volunteer? Uh, well, you know me, I'd love to help. Uh, I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Now, why is it that our fingernails aren't on the other side of our fingers? <laughs> I mean, hey, huh, it'd be a lot better for digging, for scratching. Hey, be easier to play my banjo, right? Cody, somewhere a family of potatoes is searching for their lost son. No way, the potato family lost their son? That's so sad. Oh, yeah. You heard about that poor potato family, too? No. I went to the library to write a report on Abraham Lincoln. But all the books on Lincoln are checked out. Now what am I supposed to do? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we go right to the source? Talk to Abe Lincoln himself. <laughs> Cody, maybe the news hasn't reached you yet, but Abraham Lincoln has been dead for over 100 years. 129 years, to be exact. <laughs> yeah, he was assassinated April 15th, 1865. It was a Friday. Good Friday, to be exact. Guess it wasn't a very good Friday for Abe, though, was it? Come on, Cody. How am I supposed to talk to a dead guy? <laughs> That's the easy part. We go see Madame Sonia. Psychic advisor extraordinaire, channel of famous dead people, and keys made while you wait. <laughs> hey. Maybe she can help that potato family find their lost son. <laughs> Jackson. I'm living on the set of Hee Haw. <laughs> what is your problem? Spider, spider. <laughs> What's all this screaming? You guys waxing your mustaches again? No, there's a big, ugly, hairy spider on the table. Ooh, a spider. You guys are such wusses. Uh, don't kill it. What do you want me to do, read him his rights? No, it's a living thing. Show a little compassion. Take it outside so it can be with its family. And eat its husband. <laughs> kind of cute. I mean, look at it. Ah! Well, it's awfully cold outside, so you do deserve a nice warm place to sleep. Like Dana's bed. <laughs> Hey, Carol, Uncle Frank, is my dad here yet? No, nope, but any minute. Oh, man, I can't wait till he gets here. He said he's bringing me an early birthday present. It's going to change my whole life. <laughs> Hope it's a battery for my watch. <laughs> you know, it's been 1058 since last August. 1058? Oh, man, my dad said he was going to be here at 11 o'clock. I better start cleaning my van. Sounds like Cody's really excited to see his father. Well, I'm glad somebody is. Oh, come on, Frank. Your brother's not so bad. Carol, he's a control freak. Just because he's a big, rich real estate developer, a personal friend of the governor's, and been written up in Time magazine, he thinks he's something special. <laughs> now, come on, honey, don't laugh. Now, I'll bet you the first words out of his mouth are going to be some kind of put down. Frank, you look great. <laughs> Carol, Frank, marrying this woman was the smartest thing you ever did. Well, who am I to argue with a friend of the governor? <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Richard. Frank, the place looks great, but I did happen to notice you need a new roof. Yeah, well, I'm way ahead of you there, pal. I got my crew coming over next month to put on a whole new tile roof. Tile, huh? Yeah. Big mistake. 
I'd go for the all-weather composite. <laughs> composite? What kind of an idiot would use composite? The governor. <laughs> he's putting it on his mansion next month. Well, he's only got to live there four more years. <laughs> well, I'm on a tight schedule, so where's my boy? Oh, he's out back. He's cleaning uh, his van for you. He's still living in the van, huh? Uh, is he still kind of... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cody! Cody? Hello, son! Dude! <laughs> oh, it's great to see you, kid. Oh, man, it's great to see you, too. <laughs> hey, I was just cleaning up my van, you know? I was hoping maybe you could, uh, sleep over in my guest room. <laughs> you mean the passenger seat? Well, sure, when it's upright, it's the passenger seat. But when it's down, it's the guest room. <laughs> I even put a chocolate mint on the headdress and a Gideon Bible in the glove box. <laughs> maybe, uh, some other time. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Cody, have you ever given any thought to moving into a real place with a kitchen and a bathroom? You mean like a Winnebago? <laughs> or like an apartment? <laughs> ah, see, to me, if you can't rotate the tires, give it a lube job, it's just not home. Well, <laughs> when you see the present I brought you, you may want to change your lifestyle. <laughs> Happy birthday, son. Thanks. Uh, Lamco Real Estate Developers. Cody Lambert, Senior Vice President. <laughs> no way! You name one of your employees after me? <laughs> Dude! Oh, wow. oh. No, son. Uh, you're turning 21, and I'm bringing you into my firm. Oh. Gee, Dad. You know, I'm a demolition man. I never really pictured myself as like a big cheese on the executive wheel. <laughs> well, I know, but I, I think it's time you stopped hitting things with sledgehammers and started on a career that has a real future. Besides, it'd, it'd give us a chance to spend some time together. Well, yeah, I do miss hanging out with you, Dad. <laughs> well, that's it. It's settled, then. You're my new senior vice president. <laughs> we'll make a powerful combination. We'll, we'll, we'll build an empire together. We'll, we'll conquer the world. <sighs> <laughs> hey, Dad, uh, are we just building mini malls, or are we going to, like, need a navy? <laughs> Bambi, babe, JT Lambert here. Hey, listen, Bam. <laughs> How'd you like to go to the prom with the studliest guy in the class? Hello? <laughs> what does she know? She's named after a deer. Yeah, JT, you know, uh, don't take this personally, but you've been shot down 50 times. You know, uh, maybe you're not the studliest guy in the class. <laughs> What am I going to do to get a date to the prom? I don't know. Let's think about this. Now, who's really popular with the chicks? Dude, I got it. Joey Lawrence. <laughs> there you go. All you got to do is get a flannel shirt, tie it around your waist, and cut a hit record. Man, the chicks will be crawling all over you. Uh, <laughs> dude, I'd be the host on Love Connection. <laughs> Hi, Cody. Hey. 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 Any luck finding a date to the senior prom, JT? No. Well, that's okay. I'm not going to the prom either. Of course, that's because I'm going steady with the college guys, so I won't be humiliated being alone like you. <laughs> hey, I saw a dead possum out on Route 12. Maybe you could ask her. <laughs> nah, she'd probably turn you down. Yeah, like the guys want to take your bony butt somewhere, huh? <laughs> well... As a matter of fact, I'm going with the most gorgeous guy in the senior class, Jeff Brock. Jeff Brock? No way, he's dating Pam Taylor. Correction, he was dating Pam Taylor. Uh, unbelievable. He dumped a cheerleader with an incredible body to go out with Francis the Talking Mule? <laughs> you know, JT, there's a lot more to life than just big pom-poms. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> 